return to Galatea territory. And it's possible that still, I must get. Hey there. Is this it? Is this it? There you go. 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 Come back anytime. We will soon arrive at Garigmok Monastery. Forcing a surrender here is extremely significant, both strategically and symbolically. Of course, this is personal as well. This is where we all came together to learn and grow. I have no intention of yielding to our former classmates, so I ask that you prepare yourselves for any- I'm not thinking about friends right now, and I'm certainly not prepared. Damn it! don't go around saying things that lower morale before we even get started. I'm ready. Let's go. I have nothing to lose aside from my friends who are here with me. Does that answer satisfy you? I have been ready for this since leaving my land of home. I will fight and... How can you prepare to fight? Maybe I can... There is no reason that I should not be prepared. It is my duty to stand up and battle. Thank you all. As the raiding force, we will attack the area nearest to the monastery. The Knights of Saros certainly won't stand down after they catch sight of Her Majesty and the Pro At the same time, the remaining areas will be surrounded and annihilated by the main army. In other words, we are the decoy that must suppress the enemy's most elite soldiers. We know more about the area near the monastery than anyone else in the Imperial Army. Still, we must prepare for the worst. It's possible we will have to face the Archbishop's true form, the Immaculate One. Fight with all you have, but don't be reckless. As promised, I will leave the command to our professor. Naturally. With both Her Majesty and yourself on our side, defeat is impossible. This will be our first battle as the Black Eagle Strike Force. All the more reason to prevail.
Friends, our opportunity for victory will come. But first, we must see to our defense. The city's defenders are trying to stall for time. They should be wary of ambushes. Vladislava is being pushed on the left flank. We must push back with... Stay focused. That's my cue. All roses have thorns. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I will prevail. As you wish. I'll go. To work. Here we go. Ugh. Battle. Or not. was beneath me.
battle a chance to grow. should be honored. worth my time. Side with the I care not. Uh, 
I will show no mercy. <laughs> yeah! I'm sorry, Flame. I understand you must have many questions, but they'll have to wait until after the battle. Another one down. In my master's name, I cannot allow myself to fall here. I must withdraw. Seteth, Flame, Gilbert, you put your lives on the line to protect us. I would have preferred to have more time to prepare, but we cannot delay any... Come forth! Protect Garrick Mock Monastery from those despicable rebels! I'll crush... Her enemies are mine. Thank you. 
the plan. strategy. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Only a fool challenges me. Many skill 
controls me now. as well. I cannot permit you to go on living any longer. The feeling is mutual. I must put a stop to your reign of tyranny. You must know what a fool you are. The greatest of sins is to make an enemy of the goddess herself. I have only made an enemy of the church, not of the faith. Allow Garrick Mock or my mother to fall. You will not be. 
be forgiven! Professor, look out! The castle is crumbling! We must escape! Professor, take cover! Professor! In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hressfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Gerig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender. Archbishop Rhea commanded the Knights of Seros, leading from the front lines against the Imperial Army. After a hard-fought battle, she was forced to retreat to Ferdiad, the capital of Fargus, where she must now plan her next move. With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Leicester Alliance. The unification of Fodlin has begun. Part Two, Crimson Flower, Ethereal Moon, Beyond Escape. It is Imperial Year 1185. Half a decade has passed since Emperor Edelgard ascended the Imperial throne, yet the continent of Fodlin still remains lost in a tempest of turmoil and bloodshed. In the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, King Dimitri has welcomed Archbishop Rhea and her knights, who were driven out of Garrick Mach to the kingdom capital. As they work to build a unified front, the war with the Empire rages on to the west. Meanwhile, Claude, leader of the Alliance, staves off Imperial intervention by strategically stirring up conflicts between Leicester lords in an effort to feign neutrality. As events unfold, Edelgard and her Black Eagle Strike Force begin to take action in an attempt to break the war's current state of deadlock. You. How long do you intend to sleep? Your body is awake. Your eyes must open now and you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of yours. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. In order to survive, they kill. And so the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. Excuse me? Are you saying you have forgotten who I am? How dare you! Get on your feet. Right now. I'll coddle you no more. You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. Hey, are, are you awake? We're in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Garrig Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Though, there have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know. Regardless, the Imperial Army has taken over now. Um, are you feeling all right? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? 
It's the ethereal moon of the year 1185. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Tomorrow was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like that? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing at all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? Are you crazy? The Imperial Army is there. Come on, I, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. You just remember I tried to stop you, got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. Students? You really are crazy, aren't you? There aren't any kids anywhere near that place anymore. Unbelievable. Five years ago to the day. If things had continued on as they were, today would have been the Millennium Festival. Halt! Who's there? It can't be. Professor? Is it really you? But I searched everywhere and never found a trace. A teacher. What have you been doing all this time? Where have you been? Joking? At a time like this? You do realize it's been five years since you disappeared. Do you have any idea how guilty I felt? How broken my heart was? I searched high and low after you vanished. Although there was no proof, I somehow knew you were alive. All this time, I led everyone as best I could and fought with all my heart. It's been a difficult path to walk alone. Welcome back, my teacher. I'm so happy that you're safe. Five years. Such a short time, but it feels like an eternity ago. Do you still feel the way you did all those years ago? You said then that you would fight at my side no matter how many enemies we should amass. As for me, my resolve has not faltered. I'm determined as ever to see this through to the end. I will defeat the False Goddess. I will save this world from those creatures and give humanity its freedom back. So, my teacher, are you prepared to stand with me? I... I thank you. Truly. Now then, I assume you understand the situation at hand, yes? Another joke? Or... Are you telling the truth? I suppose you must be. In that case, I'll tell you all that has transpired as you slumbered these past five years. And that is where we are now. The war is at a stalemate. Dimitri is the new king of Fargus. It's clear that his territory will continue to support the church. Meanwhile, Claude's leadership has thrown the Alliance into chaos. He maintains neutrality in their internal conflict. The situation has created a deadlock. We've been awaiting an opportunity for our squadron to return to the monastery. With you in the fray, I believe the state of the war will shift immediately. The Church, as well as the Kingdom and the Alliance. The time has come to eliminate them all. Rhea, Sedeth, the Knights and the others are in prime condition. They've set up their base within the Kingdom capital. The Immaculate One and her family have yet to fight on the front lines. However, we must eventually face and defeat them. It would mean a great deal to have you with us when the time comes. Good. Well then, I believe it's time for a little reunion. The Black Eagle Strike Force never lost faith. They knew you were alive and have been awaiting your return. Let's not keep them waiting any longer.
Well now, that face is certainly familiar. I am glad to see you alive and well, Professor. Professor! It's me, Bernie! Do you remember me? I can't believe you're here! I can't believe it! Is this a dream? Can we really be this lucky? This is not dreaming. Our professor is with us again. Welcome to the back. I mean, welcome back. Our group isn't the same without you. I am overjoyed to see you again. It's been so long. Seeing you again fills my heart with hope. Great. Now everything will be easy. Um, that's great you're safe, Professor. I'm deeply, deeply moved. Quite the reunion, isn't it, Professor? Everyone's happy to see you. Come on, Edelgard. You must be happier than all of us combined. She took it really hard when you disappeared, Professor. Of course, we did our very best in your absence. And there was never a day that we doubted you would return. Edel, but after you disappeared, it became apparent that you were her anchor. It gives me regret to be admitting this, but our power is not enough. The only one who can be meeting Edelgard's expectations is you, Professor. Most impressive of all is your uncanny ability to bring a smile to everyone's face. In the years since you vanished, we have not lost anyone from our ranks. We all longed for your presence and your leadership. Myself included. It seems fitting to view this as a new beginning for the Black Eagle Strike Force. We already have our target. Yes. We must eliminate the Alliance before moving on to fight the Kingdom and the Church. However, that doesn't necessarily mean we must occupy the entirety of the Alliance. House Regan stands against the Empire. Therefore, our target is Deirdre, the aquatic capital. We must cross the Aramid River, which separates the Empire and the Alliance. To do that, we must take the largest bridge across it. The Great Bridge of Murden. Murden connects the Monastery and the Imperial Capital to the east. It is the shortest route there. An Alliance stronghold has been built at the Great Bridge. We'll take that and then head north. At the same time, we must defeat the one who defends it, Judith von Daphne. If we can also take control of Daphne territory, it would be greatly beneficial to us. Prepare yourselves. The next battle will be a momentous one. Join me, my friends, as we begin our journey to bring peace and solace to this war-ravaged world. Yes, Edelgard claims victory after victory. Five years ago, she ascended the throne and swept away the corrupt nobles. I always thought I would be the one to unseat him. But she did it instead, with all the ease and indifference of someone cr Now, as the head of House Iyer, I serve Edelgard. I have to accept that I am her subordinate, working beneath her to reunify fo- the disparity between Edelgard and my- She never stops moving forward. But where does that leave me? Here, flailing about, going nowhere. But it is- Not once since our days at the Academy have I exceeded Edelgard- I saw her as a worthy opponent. She did not even see me as a contender. She did not even consider me at all. As the head of the Noble House Iyer, I must be able to achieve results. But all my efforts have come to nothing. Results are everything. I have not shown results, so I will be stagnating here forever. I appreciate- I know that I have a massive wall to climb, and I must climb it alone, even so. Professor, I would appreciate if you were always by my side. Must I? Fine. But I will sing it. Learning these th <laughs> 
Professor, please do not be concerned. I just did too much overworking. Yes, I, I have sorrow. Uh, I mean, I am sorry to be fainting even though I was not asking for your Karen. I am, will you have a listen to me? I am thinking you already have knowledge of not for studying, but as a hostage for the Empire. So that Bridget would not be rebelling, it feels like a knife against my throat. That I am making my grandfather oh, because I am a hostage, it is not an option to be giving up. I must do anything to be making life better for Bridget. That is what my people are wanting from me, and what my grandfather... My want, the wants of my people are something... How I really... I have understanding. What I am understanding, when I know what my true want is. I give you my promise that I will be telling you...